In the early hours of the 19th of April, the ISS Expedition 9 crew prepared to embark on their 11-day Delta mission to the International Space Station. Dutch ESA astronaut André Kuipers was the flight engineer on this mission. He flew the Soyuz TMA-4 together with Russian cosmonaut Gennady Padalka and NASA astronaut Mike Fink. The launch took place from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. After nine minutes of propelled flight, the tension in the Soyuz is relieved as the crew members find themselves in zero-g, which means they are in orbit. It takes two days for the Soyuz to reach the ISS. This gives the astronauts a chance to adapt to space and weightlessness. The experiment program for André Kuipers was so busy, he even had to start some of the experiments while still in the tiny Soyuz. On the 21st of April, the Soyuz docked to the Russian Zarya module of the ISS in a textbook procedure. An hour and a half later, after finishing all the post-docking procedures, the astronauts opened the hatch between the ISS and the spacecraft. At first, Kuipers and his colleagues floated around with great caution, but they soon discovered the fun side of weightlessness. André Kuipers is already the seventh ESA astronaut to travel to the ISS but he was the first Dutchman ever to enter it. After informing Mission Control and their families about their safe arrival, the astronauts started their extensive program of onboard experiments. One of the educational projects during the Delta mission was the highly popular Seeds in Space. Together with over 70,000 schoolchildren back on Earth, André Kuipers planted seeds of lettuce inside a small rocket-shaped container. The aim was to explain the effects of gravity on the growth of plants. Grafobox, the winner of a student experiment competition, is somewhat related to this. It's a little more advanced than seeds in space and it also takes into account the effects of light and temperature on plant growth. Kuipers also performed a number of physiology experiments during his stay in space. After nine days on board the station, André Kuipers had to leave his colleagues Padalka and Fink behind. Since Delta was also a crew and a Soyuz exchange mission, he returned to Earth with Michael Fole and Alexander Kaleri, inside the Soyuz TMA-3, which flew ESA astronaut Pedro Duque to the ISS on the Cervantes mission in October 2003. The Soyuz TMA-4 will remain docked to the ISS for approximately six months as an emergency lifeboat. After undocking from the ISS, the Soyuz brought the astronauts safely back to Earth in little over three hours. All went well during the landing. The hardest part seemed to be the readaptation to Earth's gravity, which is why the astronauts had to be carried out of the Soyuz and were given some time to recover. As soon as they regained strength in their legs, they were flown back to the welcome committee of friends and relatives. <laughs> 